I am in Chicago, Illinois, right by the historic Chicago Theater. But I'm not here for that, as right next to the theater is the Medieval Torture Museum. This is a new museum that opened up in late 2021, and I am very interested in seeing this. But warning! This museum has some very graphic displays and content, so if you do not like seeing or hearing about horrific torture and execution, then you should probably skip this video. This is the second location of the Medieval Torture Museum. The original is in St. Augustine, Florida. I have visited that museum, it is very unique, and this new location is quite similar. From my understanding, all these artifacts are just recreations. There are no authentic torture devices, but that does allow for some interactivity. This guy is wearing a necklace that would be forced upon cheating gamblers in medieval times. There is a breast terror, also known as the Spanish spider, which was used to tear the breasts of convicted women. Yeah, some of these dummy figures are pretty bloodied. Someone is imprisoned in the standing cage, a punishment often forced upon heretics and apostates. This is a bench crucifix. It was one of many devices used by Spanish inquisitors during interrogations. Victims on the crucifix would have ropes tightened, causing necrosis of limb tissues. They do have an audio tour which provides some interesting stories. This is the cord, also known as the rack. The victim would be lifted and stretched out by a rope. Here's one of the most classic instruments of death, the guillotine. This was widely used for executions during the French Revolution. Even its inventor, Dr. Guillotin, was executed with one. Some of these devices are interactive, which in a sick and twisted sense is fun. Here's a witch bather device used to dunk accused witches into water. If they drowned, then they were posthumously declared innocent, but if they did not drown, that meant they were witches, and they were executed for their devilry. This guy has had his hands chopped off. He only has useless nubs now. How sad. Here are some hand torture devices, like the crocodile. Here's the gallows. Hanging at the gallows is one of history's most popular execution methods. These two guys are just hanging out. The last death by hanging in the United States was in 1996. This poor woman has found herself on an inquisitor's torturing table. The victim's limbs would be clamped, so inquisitors could subject them to terrible torments. These tools, called cat's paws, were used for Spanish tickling. They were so sharp that they separated the muscles from bones, ensuring a painful death by infection. Here are some branding irons. These are some masks of shame, which originated in England, they would be worn by gossipers for public ridicule. This woman is having her heels scalded. Applying boiling water or oil onto the heels of women did occur sometimes in medieval Europe, and may still occur in China apparently. This is a stork. Italian prisoners in the Middle Ages would be forced to wear the stork for hours on end, Here's a wheel of death. These are various forms of shackles. Looks like this lady is caught in a flute of shame, used to punish musicians who gave crappy performances. 
This is the Violin of Gossipers. A mild punishment for gossipers, who would be placed in the violin. It was just a bit uncomfortable. This is a strappato bed that was used throughout European history. Supposedly Guy Fox was interrogated on a strappato before his execution. Oh my gosh, this place is something else. This guy has been impaled with the fork of the heretic. The inquisitors would shove the fork through their chin, but it was calculated to be just small enough so that they could not kill themselves with it. That's a classic pillory, or stock, which was used all over Europe. That is the Spanish horse, which was quite painful to sit on. Usually it was just used on women, but it would be arguably worse for men. This is nasty. This man has become victim to the bloody eagle. His ribs are spread out like the wings of an eagle, so that his lungs could be pulled out of his back. This was a Scandinavian sacrifice execution method, and visitors can just spin him around. This man has had his tongue nailed to a stump. That is quite unfortunate. Let's see what's in the box. Oh, it's full of body parts. Lovely. Before the true guillotine was invented in 1791, heads were still rolling, but it was just done by hand. With the manual guillotine, the condemned man would be placed in this device, then the executioner hit a heavy wedge placed on the back of his neck with a hammer over and over until he died, and his head came off. This man's eyes have been burned. Blinding one's enemies was common in the Middle Ages. That is a neck trap. Here Joan of Arc is being burned at the stake. It is believed that 35,000 people were executed this way in medieval Europe. A wheel like this could be used for water torture. Looks like it took care of this guy a long time ago. This man is being sandwiched by nails, and visitors can crush him with a nail bed for fun. This woman has suffered from flagellation, a more domestic punishment used in medieval monasteries, schools, and households. This is the Sicilian Bull. The Sicilian tyrant Phalaris ordered a bull-shaped device like this to be built, but he himself ended up being roasted in the bull after a rebellion. There are some hanging body parts. Oh jeez, there are chastity devices on the bathroom doors. And there's sexy ladies getting tortured and even a guillotine in the men's room. This man is immobilized by a weighted shackle, which is still used to this day in some parts of the world. And here are some torture shoes. This guy is getting executed by insects. He was coated with honey and is being eaten alive. This is the chair of inquiries. That looks comfortable. This man is having his head and hand crushed by vices. This was a horrible interrogation method that would literally break people. <laughs> See, his eyeballs popped out.
This is the Grot, an alternative to the Gallows that would simply strangle the victim with a rope while sitting down. This chair was a one-of-a-kind device that was found in a castle at Cuenca, Spain. This guy is having his tongue cut off. This is an ancient form of punishment, featured in the Old Testament. It has even occurred fairly recently in Yemen. Let's see if anything is boiling in the cauldron. Yep, that's gross. Here's another body cage, in which prisoners may be left for months even after they're dead. This is another torture classic, The Pendulum, which may not have really existed. Let's see what's in the basket. Ah, this man has been murdered by snakes. There's a drunkard in the barrel, and under Tsar Pierre the Great in Russia, drunks would have to wear those medals. There's a stock photo op. This man is having his chest ripped apart by a rat. Here's the scavenger's daughter, which was used on prisoners at the Tower of London. It would restrain prisoners in a very uncomfortable fetal position. Um, I believe those are all chastity devices. Sawing was a popular form of medieval punishments. It was extremely cheap and easy to saw through criminals. Alright, one final room of the Medieval Torture Museum. There is a really menacing executioner in here. This guy is trapped in the Cradle of Judah, which was considered to be humane in Italy, as it managed to keep the victim awake. This man is chained to a prayer cross. Prisoners would be left in it for hours or even weeks, which was very painful and damaging. Here is the Iron Maiden, also known as the Nuremberg Virgin, which may have been fabricated during the Age of Enlightenment. This is the Electric Chair, a more modern American innovation in the torture field. Over 4,000 people have been executed in these. Here we have a victim of the Colombian necktie, an execution by mutilation. The victim's throat would be slashed horizontally, and then their tongue is pulled out through the wound in their neck. That is really disgusting. Here are some forceps and a knee crusher. And there are plenty of graphic examples of impalements. This is an extended pillory to fit several criminals. That's an Inquisition throne on the right. Criminals will be held upside down for interrogation. Finally, this is a strapado ladder, on which victims will be stretched beyond human capacity. So that was the Chicago Medieval Torture Museum, a display of wickedness throughout history, and a good place to lose your faith in humanity. Honestly, it's kind of depressing, but still it is a very interesting museum that is worth checking out. 
Take a look at my other videos featuring all sorts of unique museums like this, as well as other attractions here in Chicago, as well as across the United States and Europe. Also, please like this video, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.